for such a long time, by God, I had the victim mentality. Literally, I can remember from the age of about 12 when I actually started to like give a shit about school and care about my grades and that kind of thing. And I would just think to myself, oh, well, I'm just like not naturally clever at this. So therefore I'm not gonna do very well in school. And I think it kind of started from there and got to a point where when I was sort of in my early 20s, I was like, this cannot stand. Like something's gotta change. Nothing in my life is changing while I maintain this mentality, while I have this mentality. What am I gonna do? to fix it, what am I gonna do to um, liberate myself from this prison that I've made in my brain that I'm some kind of victim that the world is against me and things just don't go right for me. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Hattie Haida. I talk about all things self-development, mentality, mindset, growth, spirituality. If you like any of those things, please stick around. Today, as you will have seen, the title of the video is victim mentality and again so many of us have this mentality i'm just going to talk about firstly what victim mentality even is i didn't even know what this was until a couple of years ago why we have it and why we have this mentality how it develops and then the mindset shifts we're going to employ to get out of it get out of our own way people say oh i feel stuck or i feel like things are stagnating certainly when it comes to like their mindset victim mentality i'm sure will 99% of the time be the culprit because that really does stand in your way more than I can explain and the moment that I've worked on this and the moment that I have clocked it even for a start that I have it and started to undo it unlearn it is the moment that things have worked for me like this year things have worked for me and it's because I've kind of worked through this so that's that's what the video is going to be about stay tuned to work out how you're going to get out of your own way and remove this victim mentality that you might have. The victim mentality is essentially where you blame external factors for what's going on in your life and you struggle to take accountability for the things that you can control, the things that you, the choices that you can make to get yourself out of this particular situation. Thinking, hmm, what could I do to change the situation? What choices can I make? How can I hold myself accountable so that I can actually move forward? And I will say this straight off the bat is that you can at the same time acknowledge that you've had to struggle, that you have been dealt some dodgy cards, that things haven't always been easy for you and maybe you lack certain privileges. At the same time as not letting this define you, as not letting this be the reason that you don't move forward that you don't you know prosper in life people who want to be successful want a lot for their life end up falling into this victim mentality because they see the road ahead as being so challenging and it's so much easier to be like well the reason i can't do this is because i was dealt a bad dealing of cards like um i can't do this because of um this person i can't do this because i'm not in this situation i don't have these resources i don't have this help of course, it's so easy to say, oh, well, you know, I can't do these things because of these external factors, because it kind of absolves us of responsibility that we need to take for our own success. It gives us a way out of being like, well, I just won't ever be successful because there's so many barriers in place. Instead of actually facing the fact that, look, we've got a long way to go in our success journey. We've got a long way to go to where we actually want to be. And taking accountability for that journey, actually going for it. The, the victim mentality basically gives us a sort of get out of jail free card, an excuse to not even try. But our brain can't deal with that well because we then think, oh my God, all of it's on us. All of, all of our ability to be successful, all of that is on us. And that's quite a scary reality. So it's much easier to put that on external factors. And again, like I said, you know, on the one hand, you can acknowledge that you've, you've had it tough, but on the other hand, you can still take accountability and be like, I'm just going to try anyway. I'm just going to try and be what I really want to be. This doesn't excuse this. This doesn't mean that you can't do this. Both can exist at the same time. It's like having self-compassion for yourself at the same time as holding yourself accountable. What we can do is work with what we've got and work with what we have, resources we do have to create the life that we want. Something that I really had a lot of victim mentality around was, oh, well, you know, it's just gonna take longer for me because I was born in Dorset, which is a rural area in the UK. So it's gonna take me so long to become an actor. I just didn't have the privilege that my friends had who lived in London and grew up in London. You, know, They had connections, they had you know, resources, they were able to go to this, this and this thing. They were able to be creative from a younger age and so on. I had this victim mentality, I was like, you know, I just wasn't born in the right place. So I'm probably, it's always gonna be harder for me. That's true, that is true. It is gonna be harder for me. Does that absolve me of responsibility to try anyway? Does that excuse or take away from the fact 
that I could still get there and I could still be a creator despite not living in London for the first part of my life? No, it is just going to take a bit longer. And that's what people want to, don't like is that, oh, it's going to take ages. I, I, you know, I'm on back foot. You can still do it though. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. And, and that's the kind of what I mean is that you, you kind of utilize your circumstances as a reason not to try, as a reason not to go for what you want to and it holds you back. And of course, attached to this is having a bit of an allergy to accountability because when we have the victim mentality, because we're blaming everything on external factors, we don't take accountability for our role in our suffering in our circumstances. And when you have an accountability allergy, first of all, objectively, it's just really annoying. Um, I just don't like people that can't take accountability anyway. And I just think, unfortunately, when we can't take accountability, it just doesn't set ourselves up for success because in order to actually grow and develop and grow, whether that's in your sort of, um, you know, mentally and, and mindset wise, but also in success, you have to acknowledge where you've made mistakes. You have to be able to reflect on your own behavior and your own choices and think, oh, I really shouldn't have done that. Now I know I'm so glad I've had that because now I can move on and actually grow from that. When we're allergic to accountability, we are stumping our own growth. If a friend comes to you and says, look, there's something that's been bothering me, can we talk about it? If you then become defensive and be like, no, 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 there's, no, there's nothing wrong. I'm just gonna like, I haven't done anything wrong. I'm not gonna take accountability for this. You're stumping your own growth within the friendship. You're basically saying to that friend, look, I, I'm actually not interested in growing. I'm not actually that interested in, in, in seeing how, how I can enrich this friendship. You're always thinking, no, they're the problem. They're the, they're the issue there. I didn't do anything wrong. I can't see what I could have done differently in that situation. How are you gonna grow? It's just stumping your growth. And I know that it's difficult because our pride gets in the way and we want to protect ourselves and our ego but it doesn't actually help us grow. I don't know if you know this or you kind of notice this, but the people at work that shift the blame onto everybody else and won't take accountability for their own actions and how it went wrong, it basically holds the whole team back because then nobody can identify what the problem is to then be able to solve it. Only when we do something that we look back on and think, oh, I really wouldn't have done that this time, do we see that growth? Do we see that elevation of our, whatever it is, success, mindset, um, you know, growth in relationships with people. Accountability allergies are so unattractive and so annoying. And unfortunately, it's not a prerequisite to getting to where you want to be, becoming your best self. And it's actually quite hard, especially taking accountability for your participation in your own suffering, because obviously we don't want to think that we've contributed to our suffering. So there's a lot that we have to overcome that is acknowledging that we have caused ourselves to suffer that's a lot of a lot of people don't want to deal with that like a lot of people don't want to acknowledge that because that would mean feeling feelings of regret or feelings of you know sorrow for yourself and feeling annoyed with yourself and a lot of people don't want to face it so they kind of unfortunately end up perpetuating the same suffering simply because they don't want to stop it in its tracks and just admit that they're contributing to their own suffering it's just, it doesn't make any logical sense. And yet here we are as humans experiencing this illogical thing that we do. But essentially, if we can't take accountability for how we participate in our own pain and our own suffering, we can't grow, we can't move on and we can't level up. And again, like I said, making mistakes is how we grow. Failure is how we grow. Things that we do wrong is how we grow because we, it's so much more memorable to us. Our brain is rewired when we make a mistake and acknowledge that we've made a mistake we remember that so deeply and we very, very rarely make it again. We don't continue to perpetuate the same thing that clearly doesn't work. Another thing as well that I've noticed, certainly in myself, but also in other people that I've encountered who have this victim mentality, is just passivity. You're a passenger in your own life. You're not taking control in your own life. Say if you're in a relationship that just isn't working and you're like, oh, it's just not working. There's all this and this and this that's not working. It makes me feel like shit, like I'm just not enjoying my relationship with this person, but then you don't do anything to either try and improve it or move away from that person. It's just being a passenger in your own life. You know, you're you're choosing to not actively try and either enrich the relationship or enrich your own life by moving away from somebody that drains the fuck out of you. It just doesn't make any sense. And having that passivity of like, oh, well, because it's not me, because it's about external factors and because, you know, the world's just against me, that's just the reality. 
you again absolve yourself of responsibility to actually take action and proactive action for your life and to to develop as a person and to grow passivity is such a shame because people get to like 50 and think oh my god i never took any active participation in wanting to get to where i want to be like everything that i've experienced has been a passive thing oh it's all right i, I might as well marry this person oh you know it's all right i might as well have kids with this person oh it's okay i might as well just stick in this career because you know i've got nothing else to do oh i might as well do that because it's not like my dreams are going to come reality anyway oh you know i don't mind you know sticking with these friends even though they make me feel like shit you know it's better to have some friends than none at all oh that's crazy work crazy work and it's such a shame and again, something that I definitely did too. I, I would have this sort of passive mentality of, mm, no, I don't want to do that. It just seems like a, a, bit, a bit uncomfortable. So, you know, I'll just let it play out and see where it gets me. Oh, I'll just go with the flow. Oh, no. If you, again, always blame things on external factors, what, what would actually implore you to be proactive? If everything is always because of external factors, why would you then be bothered to be proactive in your own life you just wouldn't so it encourages this passivity and like i said we get to sort of 50 and realize that we've never actively participated in our own journey through our life we've always just gone with the flow we've always just done what what we've been dealt you know and just done that and there's just there's no intention there there's no deliberateness in that kind of path and it holds us back one of the biggest remedies that we have for the victim mentality is to actively and practically start clocking when we're being negative and trying to develop a cup half full mentality. When I had the victim mentality, or at least it was more dominant in my life, I would always think that everything was against me and I would see absolutely everything through this negative lens. And I would convince myself and skew my experiences to think that only bad things happen to me. And when you're when you're in this negative mindset, when you're in this negative, you know, filter that you're seeing life through, you aren't even able to realize the good things that happen to you because you're only looking for the bad. And when we're only looking for the bad, obviously our brain is going to be looking for things that we already think. So it's just this negative perpetual cycle of us just thinking that only bad things happen to us. And even when good things happen to us, we don't notice them. We don't realize them. We don't clock them because are, we're only looking out for the negative and unfortunately alongside that we see every single thing that crops up like every single challenge as an obstacle instead of an opportunity that's the difference when we have the victim mentality we see things as an obstacle we see it as a negative we see it as a sign like oh that means that the universe doesn't want us to do this that means that i shouldn't be doing this the reason why this isn't working is because i'm not meant to do it rather than the opportunity side, the more positive cup half full side, which is, oh great, well, this is a, a great opportunity for me to level up, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity for me to develop skills and to get to level 204. You know, this is an opportunity for me to grow. This is an opportunity for me to go through something difficult, gain another skill and equip me even further for my future. Can you see how it's literally such a neutral thing? A challenge is such a neutral thing. And it happens to everybody. Nobody's special. Everybody experiences challenges, big and small. But it's how you see it that really makes the difference. There is obviously one point of view, which is, oh, it's an obstacle. Oh, it's meant to hold me back. It's, it's a sign that I shouldn't try anymore. Or the opposite, which is it's a sign of growth. It's a sign that I should level up. It's a sign for me to kind of gain a new skill. Can you see how it's a neutral thing? But, you know, it really depends on how you see it and which one is actually going to help you forward. And something that's really helped me is actually the kind of burnt toast theory as well. Burnt toast theory is essentially you burn your toast instead of it actually being edible. So you have to put more toast in there and it means that you're a bit late to work and so on. How do you know that because you were late to work, it meant that you avoided a car crash, it meant that you avoided seeing somebody that you didn't want to see, or it meant that you experienced an opportunity that you wouldn't have got had the toast not burnt. And I always try and think, okay, when bad things happen to me, it's because it's for my greater serving. There's a reason why this bad things happen. It's supposed to teach me a lesson. And when you see it like that, you see sort of negative experiences as some kind of lesson. It could literally be as small as practicing patience say if you're in a traffic jam you're like oh this is so annoying okay whoa in the moment what is this trying to teach me it could literally be anything but sometimes it's like i'm just i just need to practice being patient here i need to practice being mindful here 
And even just those small things can really just help you develop so much more rather than just getting so worked up and so angry that something's happened that you can't control. What's the fucking point? It's such a waste of energy. And yet the other one actually reserves and preserves that energy for things that really matter. So seeing challenges as an opportunity rather than an obstacle means you do like less work as well you know when you agonize so much over the obstacle you're like wasting so much energy getting cross with the why getting cross with why is this happening to you what's going on this is so annoying and then obviously having to overcome it at the same time as well that's double the amount of effort you're doing there emotional labor and physical labor whereas with the opportunities one where's the emotional labor there you're immediately like no this is just an opportunity let's go so you're actually reserving even more energy for yourself and that leads me on to my next point, which is it's action versus agonization. So as I was saying, you know, we agonize over like the why this is so annoying. I can't believe this has happened to me. This is so like frustrating. This is going to hold me back in this and this way. You're wasting so much time agonizing. You're wasting so much time getting cross when you could just be taking action. You could just be getting on with it. And I definitely had this with my social media journey. When I first started my content creation journey properly at the beginning of this year, kind of towards the end of last year, I would be like, I don't understand why other people are growing like faster than me. Is their content better than mine? Am I doing something wrong? Am I missing a trick here? Is something amiss? And when I actually started focusing and just taking the action, and by the way, the way I took action was to focus on the quantity of the amount of videos I was producing rather than the results i grew so i redirected my focus to just take the action so pr by producing the quantity i was focusing on just getting it done i was focusing on just working towards it and just ticking off things little and often rather than looking too much at the results i put a little picture up on here but basically i have a pot every single time i post a video i put a little paper clip into the other jar and obviously it's built up over time. So I'd get a little kick feeling good about myself, endorphin rush, I guess, from literally just placing one pin or one paperclip into another jar. Because that to me was signaling I'd done the work rather than focusing so much on the results. And when I did that, and when I stopped agonizing over the why, why isn't this working? What's going on? What am I doing wrong? And just took the action. Not only do I free myself mentally because I'm no longer now now that i'm starting to grow and i'm actually you know doing well and kind of in a position that i really want to be in and things are working for me i'm like oh all i need all i needed to do was just focus on the right thing my content was never bad my i was never doing anything wrong i just needed to take my focus off the wrong thing so when you agonize over things that don't work out or just aren't working we're actually distracting ourselves usually subconsciously from what we actually need to do to get unstuck, what we actually need to do to liberate ourselves from this victim mentality. Something that was a massive, massive game changer for getting myself out of the victim mentality was being extremely conscious of the words I said, what came out of my mouth. I noticed so often when I would say things like self-deprecating sort of related comments, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work, oh, I'm not really very good at this. And I basically just criticize myself. Even when somebody would say to me, oh, you're doing really well, like, you know, well done for your social media growth or well done for your achievements here. I'd just be like, I'd brush them off, I'd just dismiss them. They'd be like, oh, it's not that deep, or it's not that good. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not actually doing that well and that kind of thing. It's like, fucking hell, what am I doing? I'm literally like self-sabotaging here. And again, when we have this victim mentality, we tend to be quite negative about ourselves. And as we know, first of all, our words are very powerful. So what we put out into the universe tends to kind of perpetuate and come back to us. So be careful what you put out there. But also it's kind of perpetuating that idea that we're not in control of what happens. If somebody compliments you, don't dismiss it. Be like, thank you very much. Because you're telling your brain that you accept it, that you think that you're, you're basically conditioning your brain to believe, oh yeah, no, that I did do that. That was part of my, in my control. And I did create that for myself. Because as we know, when we have a victim mentality, we think that it's external factors rather than internal factors. So if we basically affirm when good things happen to us and we look out for the good things that do happen to us and we acknowledge that this is something that we did with our hard, honest work and our mindset, we can start taking accountability for the good things that do happen to us. And we become less of a victim because not only do we take accountability for how we participate in our own suffering, but we also take accountability for how we participate in our own pleasure and, and in our own success. 
that's just as important because again the victim mentality equals external factors the sort of growth mentality is we have a lot more control than we think that we do and i have a lot more choice than i think that i do and i can choose how i how to respond to this in a way that keeps me safe in a way that elevates me rather than holds me back and being able to notice when you're being self-deprecating when you are not able to take a compliment when you are not able to take accountability for both the failures and successes that you have that's when you know that something needs to change and we can literally talk things into existence so knowing that we can essentially talk whatever we want into existence and unfortunately when we have the victim mentality we tend to talk negative things into existence because our brain again is looking for things to perpetuate what we already think about ourselves which is that we're unlucky that good things don't happen to us that you know we're not meant for certain things that we want you know we're not meant for this particular path our body and our brain is going to be looking for that if you have the victim mentality but if you're able to overcome that your body and your brain is going to look for things that actually perpetuate the idea that things are meant for you and that things are meant to go your way and that you are lucky and that good things do happen to you honestly when when bad things happen to me now yes obviously i let myself grieve i let myself get upset so on but i don't let it kind of go further than that honestly my brain sometimes goes there and i start to have these sort of victim mentality thoughts of like oh this is the sort of thing that happens to you and i'm just like no no stop it it's almost like my my brain knows that i'm lying to it because in my in my head i'll think to myself oh this, these things just happen to me I'm, I'm just not meant for it and within about a second it's like okay bitch we know what you're doing you're just being a victim so when, once you're kind of aware of it your brain kind of can't even let itself think like that anymore because it just knows that it's not the tr not true because it's it's had so much evidence of the opposite at this point that it can no longer go back into that victim mentality of like woe is me bad things happen to me because you've not, at that point you've kind of had so many great experiences and so many experiences that prove that you know things good things do happen to you and you do have a lot of luck that your brain just is like okay nice try pal it's not gonna work i could talk about this forever because it's such an interesting topic and absolutely something that i can attest to something that i have personally gone from being such a fucking victim to now very much not a victim because again like i said my brain is just like okay nice try we know you're not a victim stop it it is hard to get out of it you do have to practice it you do have to put in measures to you know clock when you're doing it and be like no stop it i know what you're doing and i think that's where self-awareness is quite key because if you're self-aware you're you're going to find this easier than people that just have no self-awareness so look if you've got self-awareness and you're aware of your own sort of shortcomings and you know that you probably participate in your own suffering and you're aware of what what those kind of comments are in your head of like this is not meant for me this is not the right you know i'm never going to be successful i'm never going to be what i want to be that victim thing once you clock those thoughts you can basically just do the work then to be like stop it and actually try and look for things that prove the opposite and that's how you're going to get out of it it's going to be a bit of a two steps forward one step back situation but it will work if you will go for it that's definitely a journey that i've been on in the past two three years i'd say and it's done wonders i'm so out of my own way like i am doing so much better and growing so much faster because i've overcome this mentality so i hope this video helps if it did please don't forget to like and subscribe i really really appreciate that and if you have any comments your own experiences of the victim mentality how you overcame it what you're experiencing now comment down below i really want to hear your thoughts Anyway, with that, thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.